Okay, here's another question from the audience. Uh, I read earlier today that Prime Minister Medvedev mm -hmm. and his cabinet resigned. Did he resign? Was he fired? Is there any realistic possibility Mr. Putin will not be able to stay in power indefinitely? Well, indefinitely means that he would never die, so I guess <laughs> that answers that one. But when it's the fact that today happened much more important event than just yeah. resignation of uh, uh, unimportant personality by the name Dmitry Medvedev. Today, Putin basically dissolved the Russian Constitution. <laughs> he dissolved, you know, Russian Constitution was uh, pretty much dead before, but there were two chapters, chapter one and chapter two, uh, uh, with respect to the basics of the state and society and, uh, society and human rights, which uh, no president could uh, touch. Today, Putin announced that there will be amendments to these very basics of the Russian Constitution. And Russian Constitution is a direct law. It has uh, priority over our, all other laws in the land. Uh, today, Putin basically announced Russian Constitution null and void. Uh, he, you know, there is, uh, uh, he announced that there will be, so there will changes to the institution of the presidency, to the institution of the government, to the institution of the lower chamber of the Russian parliament, which is Duma, uh, and to the upper chamber, this, the Federation Council. There will be changes with respect to several most important laws, like law on the presidency, law on the government, law on the distribution of powers between uh, different so-called law enforcement agencies, and etc. Uh, he, of course, Medvedev was fired, obviously, you know, but he doesn't have a say, so who cares? Uh, they, uh, Putin created. Uh, in new position in the Security Council. So Medvedev now, you know, he's deputy in the Security Council. Um, yes, Putin today, he made it clear to the entire world that that was the base, main message, that he's going to stay indefinitely. Uh, he doesn't want to be a lame duck anymore. Therefore, everything is going to happen well before 2024. Uh, I think that all the major changes will happen in the next year because Russian law, if Putin decides to say in the legal field, and that's what he chose before, uh, Russian law requires to conduct whatever changes to constitution a year prior to the parliamentary elections. Parliamentary elections are in September 2021, so all changes will be made in 2020. And, it, and will this be subject to referendum? Because there was some reference to this. The, he, In other words, voting, uh, exactly. popular now, voting. For you, chapter one and chapter two can be changed only. Right by referendum. By referendum. Right. But they already said, you know, it's very unclear. They already said that no, there probably won't be referendum. But there will be, you know, all people's voting, so it's not clear what they're going to do. Well, it probably will be one of those up or down kind of things rather than an alternative for one thing, right? In other words, in other words, the, the choice will not be there. It may be... You know, there is may, a Well, I don't know. I don't, I'm, called, not, I'm not sure how that would something work. that is called constitutional assembly, constitutional right. assembly that can also... Mm -hmm. It's not clear. But, you know, they uh, already, you know, he proposed uh, the former tax minister as the new prime minister. He's right. totally apolitical, so it means that, you know, I think, you know, my hypothesis is that basically Putin and his pals, they are reinventing the Soviet system of government, because that's all they know, basically. And in this system of governance, uh, you know, Putin becomes, you know, uh, unelected leader who is above any law, any limits, any elections. You know, he's like, you know, general secretary of the Communist Party, you know, yeah. head of the Politburo, you know. So um, he also said that, that the uh, 
Federation Council is going to appoint, approve um, Siloviki, you know, mm -hmm. Minister yeah. of Defense, yeah. right. FSB, um, the power elite, uh, yeah. FSB, so etc. Control you know, the whole you know, government. You know. yeah. Yes. So it is to say that uh, Federation Council will be something, and it's n it's a non-elected body which is appointed by the uh, by the regional governors to say that it will be something like central committee of the Communist Party, uh, whereas uh, it's not clear whether Putin will become the head of there is some strange body by the name Go Soviet State Council, mm -hmm. or he will stay as the head of the Security Council. In this case, they're going to choose the model that Kazakhstan just chose yeah. with respect yeah. to Nazarbayev. Yeah.